In this video, let me consider one numerical on Z parameters. Find Z parameters of the circuit shown below. This is the given circuit. For this circuit, we are supposed to calculate Z parameters. So here in this circuit, we can observe that this is current I1 and this is current I2. And there is a dependent source, which is current dependent current source. So it is dependent on current IX. IX is the current which flows through 5 ohm register. So here I1 is shown. It means that in this loop, current I1 is flowing. And I2 is shown. It means in this loop, current I2 is flowing. And here we have one more loop. I will assume that current through this loop is X. And I will take the direction like this. So here, there is a current source between two loops. So first, let me analyze this current source. So I can write here as Ix by 2 is equal to I1 minus X. I1 minus X. As I1 and Ix by 2 are in same direction, so we are supposed to take I1 first. Then X is opposite to this one, so it is I1 minus X. So let me call this as equation 1. So here we can see in this circuit Ix, here this Ix is equal to x plus i2. It is x plus i2. Now this Ix value I will substitute in equation 1. That is substitute in equation 1. So I can write Ix is nothing but x plus i2 divided by 2 is equal to i1 minus x. So from this I can write x by 2 plus i2 by 2 is equal to i1 minus x or I can write I will take x on this side. We will get x plus x by 2 is equal to i1 minus i2 by 2. So here x plus x by 2 is nothing but 1.5x is equal to i1 minus 0.5 i2 or I can write x is equal to i1 divided by 1.5 minus 0.5 i2 divided by 1.5. So from this I can write x is equal to so 1 upon 1.5 it gives x is equal to 0 0.667 i1 minus 0 0.5 divided by 1.5. It gives 0 0.333 i2. So let me call this as equation number 2. This is the x value. I will call it as equation number 2. So now I will apply KVL2 this entire loop. Now this entire loop is super loop. As there is a current source between two loops, I have already analyzed this current source. So after analyzing the current source, we have to assume that this current source is removed from the circuit. If we remove this circuit, remove from the circuit, then these two loops will become a single loop. That single loop is known as super loop. So now apply KVL to super loop. So I can write V1 is equal to, so I can write V1 is equal to, so now in voltage across 8 ohm register is 8 into X, that is 8X, then voltage across 5 ohm register is 5 into X plus I2 plus 5 into X plus I2. So let me simplify. V1 is equal to we have 13x plus 5 i2. So now let me substitute x value from equation 2. That is substitute value of x from equation 2. So therefore I can write V1 is equal to 13. So x value is 0 0.667 I1 plus 0 
माइनस जीरो पॉइंट थ्री 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 आई टू प्लस फाइव आई टू और आई कैन राइट वी वन इज इक्वल टू सो थर्टीन इंटू जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स सिक्स सेवन इट गिवस एट पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन वन आई वन माइनस फोर पॉइंट थ्री टू नाइन आई टू प्लस फाइव आई टू और आई कैन राइट वी वन इज इक्वल टू एट पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन वन आई वन प्लस जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन वन आई टू लेट मी कॉल इट एज इक्वेशन ए सो नाउ इन दिस सर्किट आई एल अप्लाई के वी एल टू दिस लूप आई कैन राइट वी टू इज इक्वल टू वी हाउ वोल्टेज अक्रॉस फाइव ओम रजिस्टर दैट इज फाइव इंटू एक्स प्लस आई टू और आई कैन राइट वी टू इज इक्वल टू फाइव x plus phi i2 or i can write v2 is equal to phi x is nothing but 0.667 i1 minus 0.333 i2 plus phi i2 or i can write v2 is equal to so phi into 0.667 it gives 3.33 i1 minus 1.667 i2 plus 5 i2 or i can write v2 is equal to 3.33 i1 plus 3.33 i2 let me call it as equation b according to the definition of z transform that is z transform is given by we know that v1 is equal to z11 i1 plus z12 i2 and v2 is equal to z21 i1 plus z22 i2 we will call this as equation c equation d these are the basic definition of z transform so now compare equation this equation a with equation c equation a with equation c so here we can observe that this 8.67 i1 so here we have z11 so i can write z11 is equal to 8.671 and this term is nothing but z One two, z one two is equal to we have zero point six seven one. Similarly, compare now compare equation B with D. I can write z two one is equal to so this term is nothing but z two one. That is three point three three. And z two two is nothing but three point three three, three point three three. The z matrix has z is equal to z is equal to we have z one one, z one two, z two one, z two two, which is equal to we have z one one is. 8.671 ohm z12 is 0.671 ohm z21 is 3.33 ohm and z22 is 3.33 so these are the z parameters of the given circuit thank you for watching